Tschüss. I just had a shower, so the camera's actually fogging up. Let me fix that. Hi. I haven't had my breakfast, clearly, because my brain has two brain cells in it, so. I just did a workout this morning, but I wanted to pick up the camera and film a bit of a midweek reset video, how I'm sort of organizing my life, organizing my uni life. I have to run a bunch of errands and just kind of a get shit done day and I wanted to film it, take you guys with me, but also like motivate myself to really get stuff done. So yes, today is gonna be a admin, life admin day. I know that I have to go to the bank today and clean my room. I just put some of this in my hair. It's the Curl Rollers Curl Balm. Actually, I recently tried these products from this brand, Evo. I think that's how you say it. I bought the shampoo and the conditioner or the curl treatment. So the normal person's daily shampoo and the Baby Got Bounce curl treatment. So good. I feel like my hair has gotten so much healthier since starting to use it. It's just very exy. I got it from Mecca, I think. It was like $80 for the shampoo, conditioner, and the curl treatment. I don't know if that's like cheap or expensive because I'm not really clued in with the hair products, but I'm a girl who uses Tresemme and Pantene. So going to these products was a bit exy, but it's okay. I feel like I have to invest more time and money into my hair in order for it to get healthy. I feel like I'm really derailing. Look who decided to show up on my bed. Good morning. Good morning. I don't know if I've really introduced my cat, but this is Carly. She's a Burmese and she's, oh, don't look at my feet. <laughs> she is the cutest cat alive. Okay, so. That is my breakfast, all done. Overnight wheat bix, which I mix in protein powder and chia seeds, and some almond milk, and then I put some coconut yogurt, banana, pepitas, blueberries, mixed berries, and almond butter. And that is my breakfast. I'm gonna eat this because I'm ravenous, and then maybe make a coffee. We'll see. Okay, I'm all ready. The day has turned really gloomy and miserable outside, so that sucks. Hopefully it clears up. So I wanna watch the sunset tonight and we can't be having clouds covering the sun. Anyways, I derail. I'm heading to the shops now, really simple outfit. I have well and truly butchered my face. I don't know why I do it. It wasn't even ready to be popped yet. You know when you get pimples like that where like they're under the skin? It, it didn't need to be popped. I just, anyways. We have a couple of things to do. I need to go to the bank. I don't know if you guys watched my last video, which you should have. I did a market stall and I made some money in cash that I need to take to the bank and put into my account because I don't know about you, but if I have cash, I forget that I have it or I, for some reason, girl math is like, I feel like it's free money, but it's not because it's, it's my money, but it's it's like, how did it end up in my wallet? I don't know, it's, it's free money. So that's girl math for you, but I need to go to the bank, put it into my bank account, and then go grocery shopping. So I'll take you guys with me for that. This is the best lip gloss, by the way. I got it for free, actually from Mecca, in like a mystery box or something. It's from the Mecca Max brand, Girl or Gloss Boss, I don't know, but it's like the best. And it was free, how good, okay. I've got my cash, which, oh, we ballin'. 
it's very humid and hot. Oh, it's only 22 degrees, but it's like 98% humidity. That's lovely. I need like a stand to hold my camera so that I can film myself. Well, maybe that's just a sign telling me that I shouldn't be filming myself driving. Market that I was at is closed, so I've had to drive to the other bank. It's fine. <laughs> days i am hot okay i ended up going to the best vietnamese shop in my area and getting some rice paper rolls and like a bao mi i think that's how you that's definitely not how you say it but a pork bun for my dad i'm very excited about it but i'm gonna drive home and eat because i'm starving and it's 12 24. <laughs> Okay, I'm home from the shops now and I'm gonna do the quickest grocery haul. Ice beverlets. Got some bananas and some mangoes. Some frozen mixed berries that I put in my breakfast. Overnight wheat bix, overnight oats. Some chalky. This is for my mum and this one's for me. It's a dark chocolate sea salt from Aldi. It's actually the best and it's like two bucks all the time, so it's so good. Some quinoa because it was on special and I love quinoa. We've got two different types of fish. I got some fresh basil, some frozen salmon portions, which I'm gonna have one of these for lunch. I got two different types of almond milk. This one's the one that I usually get from Aldi, but then I'm trying out this one from Woolies. We'll see which one I like. Got some rye wraps. These are my favorite, and I just needed to restock. Some Starbucks capsules. This one is vanilla, creamy vanilla and caramel, the best. I got some of these roasted fava beans, the red pepper and chili, some tofu. This one is Japanese tofu. I think it's just like soy sauce marinated. Some kiwi fruit, coconut water, because I've been making this smoothie that my gym sells and it's like 10 bucks, but I wanted to try and make it myself and it tastes almost identical. I got four little coconut tubs. They were like a dollar, which is a steal. Some blueberries, of course. I eat like three punnets a day. I needed some more dairy-free basil pesto. This stuff is the best. And then last two things I got were these little protein balls that I wanted to try. They're from the brand Snack Boy. And this one is a collaboration with Macro Mike, which is why I bought it. Cookie butter with a creamy core. The cookie dough one, which is just from their regular range. So I'll give those a go. But that is my really quick grocery haul. I did also get some rice paper rolls from the Viet store. And I got my dad a bao mi. I think I was telling him in the car. But I just got some prawn ones with the peanut sauce. But I think, I feel like that's not going to be enough for lunch. So I might make some salmon and uh, some rice and salmon maybe because i'm craving salmon very productive morning very proud of myself taste test even though i already know what they taste like because they are the best rice paper rolls in my area mm. Mm -hmm. that is fire i'm gonna eat this continue editing my video. The day is going really quickly, but I do want to finish editing as much as I can of my video. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. I'm going to do the quickest makeup look. I'm just going to put some concealer on. My skin is not skinning today. And it doesn't help that I butchered my face this morning. I 
put a little bit of my Drunk Elephant bronzing drops. Do we look bronzed? The best mascara, affordable mascara from Maybelline. It's the Lash Sensational Lash, the Lash Sensational Waterproof. BRB. Okay, makeup done. All done. Finished look. I'm not bothered doing my hair. Well, to be honest, I've just popped it in like a little clip, and then my makeup really simple. I might actually add a little bit of blush. Better tint is the best. I'm obsessed with benefit products at the moment. I feel like they're so underrated. Okay, that's the finished product. Ash is coming to pick me up in five minutes. Sweet. Definitely not ready. Deodorant. The best spray from Victoria's Secret. So I went to the gym this morning. I did, it wasn't actually the best session, not gonna lie. I did like an incline walk, which I've been really into doing recently, and then a Pilates workout. But I just feel like it was one of those days that I struggled to get out of bed because my body was sore and I should have just listened to my body because it was just a shit session because I was like really lethargic and whatever. I am just complaining at this point. I am using some of this moisturizer. This is the Silken Facial Moisturizer and it's like fragrance free, paraben free. It's really good. I like it because it's like light and it's oil free and it's very like, it's a natural moisturizer. So I've been using this brand for a while actually. I've got some really nice products. So today I have a really busy day actually. I need to do run a few more errands. I want to get my nails done because they are looking absolutely fried and my toes, but I'm not showing you that. And I need to organize my uni life. I just received a bunch of uh, notifications in regards to like my timetable and my subjects and whatnot. So I'm going to show you guys how I organize my uni and like my next semester and whatnot. Okay, so now to actually how I organize my uni life and how I just like stay on top of all my assignments and whatnot because the beauty of doing a fast track degree is there are pieces of assignment due every single week, multiple pieces of assignment due every single week. So I made the mistake once of missing a quiz, which was worth 20%. And I will never ever make that mistake again because it cost a lot of my final mark. Since then, I've learned and I'm now pedantic about how I organize myself so that I am as prepared as possible even before the semester starts. So I'm going to show you how I do that. I cannot recommend getting an iPad enough. I was humming and ahhing about getting an iPad for years, honestly. And I was like, I don't need one. I've got a laptop. Like, I don't need another thing to sort of cart around with me. Get the iPad. Trust me, especially if you're like doing a medical degree or like a health science sort of degree having an ipad for like placements even to go to uni and to bring into like your labs and your clinicals and whatnot it is so so valuable and so much easier than like carting around your laptop so my ipad is sort of like my life my uni life it's 
the best thing. The first thing that I do before the semester even begins is printing off my subject unit outlines. All I'm really concerned with is the assignment task outline and the assignment task details because those are the important dates that I sort of need to structure my study and my life around so that I'm actually submitting the assignments on time and to the best of my ability. I feel like it's very common in university. I know I was a culprit for it, literally just doing the assignment the day before or like starting it a few days before it was due. I told myself that through dropping down to part-time, I don't want to have those habits. I don't want to bring those habits into my next semester. So having an outline printed out and like highlighting all the important dates really ingrains into you when the assignment is due and when you should begin it. Granted, it does require a lot of discipline and motivation to actually begin the assignment several weeks in advance. I know that I had no motivation to do that. The only motivation I had was literally adrenaline that the assignment was due in like a few days. And if I didn't start it now, I wasn't submitting it and then I would fail the subject. We're not doing that. That's not happening anymore. The next thing that I do is print off each month of the semester. So that's what I did. And I write down everything that I have a commitment to in that month. And then in regards to uni, I have like a little key at the top of the month. And I write all of my assignments in the month highlighted in a particular color so that I do not forget when each piece of assignment is due. And then I put these little calendars right on top of my desk so that it's like right in my face in my line of vision so that I just don't forget because I don't know if you can tell but I'm traumatized by the fact that I forgot a quiz at the beginning of my degree and I'm just, I'm just never it's never happening again let's just ignore how horrible my nails look at the moment I really need to get them done but this is kind of what I was saying about the assignment schedule. Each unit outline has a similar setup with the assignment on the left and then the weighting. So how much each is worth and like when each is due and whatnot. So it's very clearly explained in the unit outline. So it's like, why are you not writing it down and like making sure that you're 100% over when and what each piece of assignment is. This is what I mean with my printed out calendars. So I've got November, December. So for example, I have my three subjects at the top here. I've got a health subject, a patho phys, and a research subject. And then I've got all of the pieces of assignment due in November highlighted and color coded there. And then I've also got December. Kind of what I'm getting at is these calendars have everything in them from what I'm doing on the weekend to when the next quiz for my pathophys subject is due. So I just wanted like everything in one sort of spot so that I'm like completely over everything. I just want to make sure that I'm completely aware of my commitments and particularly when my assignments are due and sort of structure my life around my uni. And I just find that that's what works for me having a visual representation of my entire life in the form of a calendar. This is an example of the current month. So I'll October. Obviously, I haven't had uni this month, so there is no sort of like key or sort of university related events on the calendar. But yeah, so I've got my working schedule, I've got like appointments, and that's sort of like what I mean with having my life set out on a calendar. And then the next month is right next to it, and I've just like chucked the rest of the calendars underneath but yes that's pretty much what i've done in regards to uni and like organization before the trimester starts i hope that was kind of helpful i get very passionate and very like rambly when i talk about uni and whatnot because i'm a control freak and i want to be on top of everything so hopefully my tips helped at least one person I look so disheveled because I've been editing and studying all morning, but I just made my lunch. It's just a rice bowl with chicken, brown rice, avocado, broccoli, and spinach. Rice bowls are my favorite for lunch because they're so easy to make and they're really filling as well. <laughs> I also completely butchered the broccoli packet.
like it went everywhere everywhere my camera's flashing so okay bye